Hello everyone, once again it's me. I'm gonna show you now how to do the cool stuff, which is how to uh, incorporate Google to actually calculate the calculate this uh, the distances for you. Okay, so how to do this? We're gonna go to tools and we're gonna go to script editor right here. Let it do its thing. And there is this code available by Google. By Google, I'm gonna put it on the description uh, again. So this code here, bring in it. So we're gonna delete everything and we're gonna paste that code. Okay. This code, uh, that's what calculates everything. That's the script behind the scene. And we have to do one thing here, we're going to have to change the name. So we're going to click here, and we're going to rename this code to maps. Okay, it's very important to do so. And maps. Okay, good. Now we're done with this. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. Now just go full screen now on the spreadsheet so this is what we're working on one two three and four okay so let me just clear this and I'm just gonna focus on this one two three and four so front deadhead, we're gonna put a tiny piece of code. And we're gonna go here, we're gonna paste it. Okay. Now what on a description, Google uh, on YouTube it doesn't allow me to put these two in there. Uh, semicolons are not allowed for some reason. I do not understand why. But uh, uh, just make sure, like, copy this. If error, open parentheses, driving miles, open parentheses, I-10. What is the I-10? I-10 is this location right here. Sorry. I-10 is this location right here. And to M-10. M-10 is this from. Okay, so it's going to calculate this distance from this one to this one. Okay. And we're gonna hit enter. We did that. Now the loaded miles, loaded miles are from the pickup location to the delivery, regardless of the deadhead. Okay, to do that, it's another piece of code, which is the same thing. Just remember it. If driving error, driving miles from M10, which is here is M and here is sent from, and to N, N10, okay? And that's it, we're good, enter. All right, so we got these two good. Now, all miles, all miles is pretty much everything with the deadheads and everything. So it's the same exact code again. No, it's not the same code it's something different because we don't need Google to help us doing that the spreadsheet will do it for us so we're just gonna tell the spreadsheet is to calculate P10 and Q10 and S10 which is the back dead head okay so Q10 a P10 Q and S okay and now you're gonna have these zeros here it doesn't matter now the deadhead the back deadhead which is basically the destination to where the driver trying to go to to the destination he's actually going to which is um, now we're gonna need Google for that which is the if error function
hit error, open parentheses, driving miles, G, G, which is the destination, which is this one, and two, this one. So N10, G10 to N10, it's gonna be calculated for us. We're gonna enter, and I think we're all set. Now, to make sure all, this is the beauty about this, to make sure all this rows will take this. So we're just gonna grab this, this blue dot, I'm gonna drag it down here. Grab this one again, drag it down here. Grab this one, drag it down here. And grab this one, and drag it down here. And we are pretty much done. Now let's test this. Pick up driver David. Perfect, he's empty at 8 a.m. in Chicago. And he's trying to go home to, what is home for him? Milwaukee, okay? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, nothing's gonna happen now till we actually find the load. That load was from, I don't know, what's close? Let's say McHenry, Illinois. Kenosha, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay, now let's start calculating. Okay, good. I don't need all these uh, numbers here. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab this, I'm gonna go to format, and I'm gonna do uh, I know it's easy to do numbers, numbers. And you do more formats or you do this one zero right here that's it you got rounded to the nearest mile same thing here formats numbers hit the zero here same thing again here and formats numbers okay good I got a good idea now here uh, the broker is giving me the rate of I don't know Four hundred dollars. Click. Uh, we didn't do the rate per mile. We forgot to do the rate per mile. Okay, so the rate per mile is very easy. We don't need Google to do that this for us. So basically, is four hundred um, divided by how many miles we have. So here is the code for it. Equal if error. L10 divided by R10. Okay, I'm gonna hit this, and it's pretty much three dollars and zero four. Okay, and in here we're gonna need a better formatting. We can round it up because uh, we need at least probably two digits in uh, decimals. So I'm gonna do format numbers, and gotta find two digits. Well, it's it's a dollar sign, right? It's it's. Uh, yeah, we can do this right here, currency. So it's three dollars and four cents a mile. Okay, let's test another one. Let's do Frank. I'm gonna see at twelve o'clock. He's from uh, Houston, Texas. He's trying to come to Chicago, and we got him a load. Let's just say from Dallas is far and we got him a load to Chicago okay so his front deadhead is 239 total loaded miles 967 all miles is 1206 and deadhead in the back is zero broker is given us 1600 and let's see the mileage oh we didn't do it oh. I'm just going to drag this. We forgot to drag uh, these calculations here. There you go. Hold on. Okay. Okay. We did not get something here. Let me see. Um, 11. L10 R10. 
and this is should be um, oh sorry because I put the broker here that's why the rate goes here which is uh, 1600 <laughs> that's why and then we have a dollar 33 brokers I'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to select this and we're going to do data validation data validation and we're going to put list from range and here we're going to go to data and we're going to grab this brokers from here all the way or we can do just grab this put the sheet is data and is h2 h2 all the way to h1000 okay and that will save this let's go back to our worksheet now here are our brokers like this guy this one I got it from CH Robinson for example and this one I got it for uh, uh, Alan Lund okay so that's how it is uh, I'm gonna try to put this code the Google code this one in the description in the description I hope it will accept it I really really hope so if not I will figure a way to put it put it on there somehow uh, I put a link or something to a, a page where you can get this uh, yeah next video I'm gonna show you how to move the data how to move this when you're done for the day for the whole week how to move everything to the archives so you can go back to it anytime all right that's good we're good thank you